Hello yogis and welcome to my channel. My name is Ksenia and today I will guide you through the morning yin yoga stretch. It's a short practice but great one to open up whole body with yin yoga approach. And for this practice, for this class, you need the block today. Uh, you can replace it principally with a nice pillow. And let's jump into the practice. And we are starting today our class from the puppy position or melting heart pose to open up our chest and shoulder zone. I will ask you to bring yourself into the tabletop position. Fix your hips on the line of your knees and from here we are melting with the heart down, straightening the arms and bringing your forehead as low as you can moving from the chest to the ground holding breathing a couple of minutes here Now give some base in your hands and with nice support of your hands, your clothes and the pose. Right from here you want to open your knees on the sides and we are moving to the white leg child position. So you bring in your sitting bones on your heels and to really get uh, maximum beneficials here from one pose we want to do for our shoulders straight through the needle pose so you lengthen your right arm now and bring it softly on the left side and check and check and how do you feel with the right shoulder it's the morning so don't go too deep and up to you how you want to continue the stretch. So maybe you want to reach out with the left hand above the head. And now start slowly to close the pose and we are going to change the side. So we will stay in child position all this time with our legs, but moving a little bit with our torso. So left arm softly, softly moving on the right side and checking how do you feel with the left shoulder. Maybe again you want to reach out with the right hand above the head. Thank you. 
Good, softly closing the pose for your arms. You want to stay in the middle, central line, and length now, arms, hands in front of you. Again, from the heart, from the forehead, moving as low as you can to the ground. Staying in the central line. Give some base in your hands, bend the elbows and start to close the position. Come and back, closing the knees here. And from here, we are moving to the sitting folding down. So you want to bring yourself on your sitting bones, lengthening your legs right in front of you. You can bring toes on you. And as we want to emphasize that we want to stretch out our hamstrings and our back, you want to bring yourself a little bit to the front. So from the hip belly, give a little bit uh, this accent and point of the stretch. And then rounding your back, opening arms and hands on the sides, staying in the folding down. Relax your neck, son. Gravity works really nice with our bodies in all folding downs. Great, and then softly bring your back into the straight line. And right from here, bring your feet closer to the root chakra. And we will move to the butterfly position. So up to you, a couple of modifications, how you can hold the pose. If you feel that it's a really intensive for your pose in the morning, even it's really great pose to open up your low part of the back, be gentle. So you may just stay here and press a little bit with the elbows, letting yourself be really in the first gentle approach with this pose. If you know that it feels okay for you and you may go deeper, you feel that you can go deeper, then bring yourself a little bit from the hip belly to the front, so give a little bit here, again, accent tension, and then rounding the back, you're moving in more deeper, folding down in butterfly position. But really be gentle with the low part of the back. We want softly to open it, but not to do any hard work. Relaxing and breathing, enjoying the stretch.
gently closing the pose you're coming back lifting up your torso no rush and from here we are going to lay on our back for the further stretches so completely bring yourself on your back and bringing your right shin above the left knee we are moving to recline swan pose or pigeon pose and find yourself here if it's getting intensive and you feel that you're struggling in your neck zone you can use any blanket or maybe even block under your neck and staying with supportive tool under your head up to you also where you want to grab above the knee maybe below the knee holding breathing staying still and sinking into this great hip opening pose the left knee and we are going to change the side so your left shin above the right knee checking yourself on this side how do you feel don't expect sides to be the same so maybe it's too intensive and you want to hold under your knee Relax your facial muscles. on this side and for the last pose supportive fish pose you need the block 
uh, you can choose any side that is comfortable for you and place low part of the back exactly on your block uh, i would say the space where is your tailbone uh, it's really specific you will feel where is the comfort zone for you uh, you may also turn and to bring on the highest level of your block so any any level that feels okay for you in the morning and up to you how you want to hold the pose today maybe you want to open knees on the sides maybe you want to lengthen straight your legs i will hold in classical approach today and arms really hands depends how do you feel so they can be along the body or maybe bringing them above the head or somewhere in the middle line breathing staying enjoying the stretch and such a nice relief low part of the back And you start to close the pose, give some base through your feet, closing your arms and putting block aside, completely grounding your hips on and staying for short Shavasana. We are going to set the intention after this short Shavasana for the day ahead. But now relax completely your body, your face, quiet mind, quiet body. slowly coming back you may stretch the body and gently with supportive hands you can roll on any comfortable side for you and bring yourself into the sitting position 
And we are going to set the intention with the kosher bells. So you may sit nice and tall to close your eyes. And just think about your day ahead. How do you see it? And what most important, how do you feel your day? What would you like for yourself? And express this intention shortly in one, two, or maybe three words. It may be adjective or noun, doesn't matter. And feel these words, or maybe one word. Is your body accepting this intention? And then like a promise to yourself to keep this intention, send it from your heart through the sitting bones to the planet Earth to the ground. And then you just smile to yourself Bring in hands in front of your heart for clear and loving intentions. Thank you for joining. Namaste. Thank you so much, yogis, for doing this yin yoga class with me. I love to do yin yoga classes in the mornings. It's such a nice approach for your body. And uh, give me a sign. How's it working for you? Uh, are you doing yin yoga in the mornings? And how's it working with you and intentions for the days and a week ahead? Do you do such practices or not? <laughs> And I see you next time. See you on the mat. Have a nice day.